Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Jerusalem's Playroom. I really have a very, very small haul today. I am up early and everybody is still asleep, which is why I'm trying to use my indoor voice and not be so loud. I want to show you guys baby Gemma and this outfit that I thrifted for her. It is a, I want to say three to six months or it's either a six to nine months. I forgot. <clears throat> But anyway, guys, I wanted to show you what it looks like on her, and it is actually just perfect. The neck is a little wide, but it is okay. And I had this bow here that I purchased from Walmart a while back, and this is what I put on her to make her match. She just has a little uh, pacifier that I modified, just cut the little nipple um, off of it a little bit. But I just wanted to show you guys this outfit and what it looks like on her. And did I put her on earrings? No, I did not. <laughs> but anyway, I, I do want to show you guys some things that I got. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. One of the things I found at one of my local thrift stores is this cute little um, onesie. And it has today, I'm curious, brave. Um, what does that read? Gentle, sweet, and then it has kind. I like when I find stuff like this because baby girl, Gemma can wear it. It is a six to nine month. Then I also found this cute little, uh, be up. It reads making, and it has Princess Tiana on there. So I think that says making, yeah, it has making wishes that's what it reads making wishes so i got that i thought that was really cute now i have the dress to this guys and when i saw the diaper covers i went ahead and got it i'm not sure if they're both the same size but it's okay this one is a three to six months so when i saw this i went ahead and just put it in my cart then I saw these diaper covers. They were, as you can see, 99 cents. Now, the size in here reads preemie, but as you can see, they are kind of big for a preemie size. So, I'm thinking that they probably are three to six months. Maybe they just got the, the tag mixed up because it has size zero preemie. But anyway, I got that. Next, I got this outfit here, and I just really liked it for the colors and with the little sunshine on there. This is actually a size newborn, so I'm not sure which baby I'm going to put this outfit on. Then I saw this little two-piece outfit here. It has like the little pants. I think this is a, is this a zero to three months? Let me see. But here are the pants, guys. It's really unique looking. I think this is from jessica simpson and this is a three to six months so baby girl uh Gemma can probably wear this and baby girl journey may be able to wear this i'm not sure i thought it was a zero to three months i didn't realize it was a three to six months until just now now i want to show you guys uh this i've got this basket because i was trying to do a uh, Easter basket for my granddaughter and I really wasn't going to do it but you know I was just like let me I'm still just I'm kind of to the place where it's like every holiday I feel like I have to buy something for my grandkids and I they don't need any more toys they have a lot here but anyway I found a bag of dolls and this is one doll that I found that was let me put this on my lap that was um in there and i tried to clean her up but whoever played with her had glitter on her and i may end up doing a body swap because she is a fashionista dolls and as you can see they don't make any that many flat shoes for these dolls but she did still have on her little bracelet next i saw her in a and she she was actually in a bag with some other dolls but I went ahead and just, uh, I'm going to thrift those other dolls back. But as you can see, she doesn't have any clothes on, but I have clothes. And I got this to give to my granddaughter because of all the dolls, she likes the LOL the best. Okay, I then found a uh, bag. And when I looked at the bag, I was like, they must not realize what they put in this bag. And it wasn't expensive at all. But as you can see, it came with all of this. It is 
just some miscellaneous rainbow high stuff. And I thought I had the shirt. Yeah. And it came with this little shirt. And then it came with this jacket. And then it came with this jacket. Then it came with this little apron. And then it also came with these little shoes. So I'm glad to add this rainbow high um, items to my collection. Oh, and also it came with these little glasses that I probably can put on my Illy doll. Um, now, oh, this is just stuff I'm just going to show you guys. Um, this, I was trying to find the shoes. Next, I was looking at their little bags. Now, this little horse here came with some shoes. And these little shoes right here is what the horse came with. So I took the shoes off and they fit perfectly on the LOL dolls. I did do a thrift haul guys showing this doll before, but I just wanted to show you how the shoes fit perfectly. So that's how I start collecting my shoes. Then it was a um, bag with just very different uh, uh, miscellaneous stuff. This is just several bags open. But I just went ahead and washed and cleaned all the toys. Now, the reason why I got these was because of the simple fact that for Easter eggs, if you want to put in, here's one, uh, Rapunzel. I put the curl, I went ahead and curled the tail up so it could be curly. And I also, I thought I had another one. Nope, there was that one. Oh, and this one here. So my granddaughter, she likes unicorns. And this one, I'm going to have to check the batteries, the batteries on it. But I call myself washing it. This one still kind of got some stains on it. I need to go back over it. But I had to be careful because, as you can see, it takes batteries. And so I think this is things that's cute. For instance, with my granddaughter, she likes uni unicorns. I don't know why. She just does. So I was trying to see if there's a certain kind of way that I can put this unicorn on the basket like that or something. I think she'll like that, so I'll figure something out. Then, um, it just had these, let me show you guys these, just came with little different little miscellaneous toys and dolls that you can put in your Easter basket or those jumbo Easter eggs if you got a little girl or something like that. And so I got this one. I, I think I have this one already, but another Barbie little uh, Chelsea. I think there's Chelsea dolls. Then uh, this was in there. These, like I said, those for a little boy, you can put this in an Easter egg and it came with, you know, the bag was just filled with so many stuff, so much stuff that I personally thought was good for Easter eggs, those plastic Easter eggs. So it came with uh, that. This was just like several bags, guys. And then here goes those LOL bottles. Then this purse. Then it came with a little Monster High figurine. I had started collecting some of these, but I've been finding them in the thrift store. Then it came with a little sink, and I saw this car from Cars. <laughs> and then it came with this little uh, figurine here for a little garden. So I'm not going to put this in a... I will put it in a play when I hang it up. Then I saw this, and when I saw it, I was like, um... Is it empty? And I looked and I kind of tried to look through the bag and I saw something in there. So when I opened it, there were two dolls in here, guys. And I don't know how much these cost. I've seen them on other YouTubers channel, but it came with two of the Bratz dolls. And I'm not really a Bratz fan, but I just got this because like I said, this will be stuff that I can put into the Easter basket. Okay, so let me put all of this aside. It's a lot. <laughs> because I, um, years ago when I used to, now some women, they go out and buy an Easter basket. And when they buy the Easter basket, they just add stuff to it. I really didn't want to do a whole lot because, um, you know, I just, I just don't. I don't want to do a whole lot for you. Because they got enough stuff. Now, I had to get this, guys. 
because when I do my scrub, when I, I was looking for something like a small scrub set for Jerusalem, and I found this one, and it's actually 12 months. Isn't that adorable? Blue Sky Scrubs. I didn't even know they had something like this for kids. I don't know if this was a play set or whatever. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. When you see stuff like this, grab it because you can also dress your... This can be a Halloween outfit. But I got this for Jerusalem when I do so she can help me when we bring dolls in the nursery. I mean, in the playroom. And I can clean them up. Next, I got this bag of diapers. It said it reads Kirtland's. The only reason why I got it because of the bunnies on here, the Easter bunny. And I have to look on the inside to see what size they are because I'm not for sure. Well, let me open it up since I'm right here. And lo and behold, I do not have my scissors. So let me open it up here and see what size these are. If it says, usually it has on there. I may have to measure it. I don't see the size on here. But anyway, this is what the diaper looks like. So, I a lot of times, and I've mentioned before, guys, how I really get upset when I find diapers at the thrift store. But that's, that's a different topic. Okay. So, this is what I want to show you guys. I purchased Walmart had their LOL dolls on sale for $5. Now. I told you my granddaughter likes LOL dolls. Look what I found. So, a lot of times I see people just donating these back into the thrift store. But here's what you can do with those balls. And I actually have one similar to this, but this is another one. Take that ball and put one in here. I think you probably can put, let's see if we can fit two in here. Yeah, that other one, her bottle. So let's see if we can put two in there. You might can put three. And put that in the Easter basket. So you got... And I was so glad when I saw... When I was looking at these dolls. and I Because I went in and I saw that they had the balls on sale at Walmart. And the clearance rack. And I was like, you know what? I probably... I'm sure I can go and find these at the thrift store. And lo and behold... I did so these are and I'm and I'm glad that I found the little boy oh that was really being around his head I think he's yeah he's a little boy so when I saw these I was just really really happy that I got him I don't think this dress goes to her it, it doesn't I know it doesn't but just putting these in Easter eggs also is a great idea speaking of that one I also found this right here, guys. And this was like, uh, here's the little, um, some miniature uh, baby I found to go on my Barbies. But look at that. This stuff right here is just perfect to go. Does it play? I'm not sure it may play. It may make sounds or something. I don't have my glasses on to really look at that. But look at that. Let's see if I can get it open. I'm not familiar with the LOL stuff. I don't even know how to get it open. Okay, I got to figure out how to get that open, guys, when I take my glass, when I put my glasses on. So, it's got a little button over here. Maybe it's a code, some kind of way you got to do the code to open it. That's probably what it is. Is she's locked in there? But anyway, I got to figure that out. That's probably why they got rid of it. <laughs> probably forgot the code. All right, and then let's see what else I got. Let's open this one here to show you guys these little babies in here. And I, I actually I remember when there was a YouTuber who purchased these babies and did a review on them. I hope they they focus in. She did a review on them. So when I saw them, I said, you know what? I haven't seen these in a long time. And I said, again, I guess somebody may be clearing out. Here's the little uh, baby. I said, maybe somebody's clearing out their, um, their toy collection and just getting rid of all of this stuff. And that's what I like. <laughs> she got food all on her. 
Oh my goodness. That's why I like uh they make great Barbie um Barbie babies. I just like things like that. And then here's here's the pet. I really didn't too much care for the LOL pet, but I went ahead and got this bag. But the only reason why I got this bag was because of this small little uh Care Bear plastic figurine. And because I like Care Bears and I'm starting to collect them, but it just had oh, here is some um what you call those pet littlest pet shop. And then here's a little kitten. So and this little dog dressed up like a puppy. I mean, like a got bunny ears on there. But then what is this? Oh, Lilith's Pet Shop. They were, these were big collectibles. So I just went ahead and got that. And then the last little bag that I had were these guys. Remember I did a video well, many of you probably didn't see it, but I did a video was talking about these, and it was still in the package, and I was saying about how these will make great little stockings, uh, not stocking stuffers, but uh, now her leg is broken. You see that? Her leg is broken. I hate that, but I probably what I would do is just break her legs off and let her be like that. I, I don't think that would be a problem. That's what I probably do, just try to break her legs off. But, um... And you can make this, even if you was to take her head off, you could make that into like a little keychain or something like that. But I think it's still cute. And then this one. I used to have this doll, but I gave her away a long time ago. So I still got a lot of La La Loopsy uh, stuff. So that's all on that. Put this plastic in the bag. Then I saw a doll. But I, I thrifted the doll back because, again, in my collection, I have so many dolls. And I didn't want to get keep buying all those dolls. So what I did is I just took the clothes off that doll. And I got these are the boots she had on. She can't, she had on um underwear. And then here's one of the dresses. And this is how I get my clothes, guys. Because, you know, I... I'm just being honest with you. I just do not want to have to pay all that money. So this right here, $2.99 for, you know, $3.99 for our outfit versus $10. Hey, you can't beat that. And then finally, I saw this. I got this to go in the gift basket also. Not the gift basket. In the Easter basket for my granddaughter because she loves plush. She loves anything plush. Whoever came up with this idea was a genius. I work at a hospital and I saw a lady had one and I said, ma'am, give me that plushie. And she was like, no, she said, I got it for my surgery. And she said, it's so soft. And, and she's right. They, they are extremely soft and comfortable. And just, I mean, if you get a bigger one, I know mothers, we give these things to our kids and stuff, but I'm going to invest in getting me one and ordering me one. Cause I've been looking online and seeing they can come build bigger because they make great pillows. I'm serious. Just put one, throw one on your bed. I know you're married. But hey, these make great pillows. And your husband can't say nothing, especially if you got his man cave. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, that is it. That is all. I just wanted to show you my quick little uh, haul. And just show you again, baby girl Gemma, what she is wearing. And I, I, I think it really looks pretty on her. So, anyway, I... Thank you guys for watching Jerusalem's Playroom and you have a wonderful day. Okay, bye-bye.